this is to get the MCP for 1.10.2. And the reason why I'm doing it now is because I don't think they're going to do an MCP for 1.11. And hopefully this video, you can use it to go to 1.11. Um, so, with that said, there is a previous video before this one. I just uploaded it. And that tells you how to get the MCP patches. Um, I'll give you a brief rundown of how to do it, but if you want to know how to do it, go to the other video. But um, you go to Forge, you download, you go to the version of Minecraft you want, and download the MDK. I think that's what it's called. The M Hold on, I'm, done. I'm digressing. Yes, it's called the um, MDK. You download the MDK. You put that to a file, and you open up the README and do step one. It will go do its thing, and then it will give you an error. Doesn't matter about the error. Close it. Close it out. You then go to this. You go to users. Users, your name here, Gradle, Chassis, Minecraft, DE, Ocean Labs, MCP, MCP. And if you go to that directory, here's all the Forge MCPs that you've ran. And we're using two. If it's 11, you go to 11. Okay, now, now that we got the MCP and the patches, we move all these over here. And then you go to config and you move all these over here. Replace. You open up this folder. Uh, you change this. Um, I don't think it matters what you change it to. But these two uh, do. You have to change it to the right number. The server version doesn't matter, but I change it just in case. Close it. Now you hit it to decompile. Now this will take a little bit. I, because of my computer and I have a really old video card, I cannot edit videos. And I don't feel like going into YouTube and editing videos. So I'm not going to skip this because I don't want to upload two videos. So I will come back when this is done and I will make comments then. But this part, I'm not making any comments and I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. A couple of comments real quick. The, um, the original video that I did for 194, um, you got errors here. You notice you don't get any errors here. And so you can skip some steps. But I'm going to go ahead and set up IntelliJ for you. You're welcome. Because this is another step that drives me crazy. To, so I'm going to show you how to do it. You do import project. You go to your folder, which is there, and you click Eclipse. Import. Eclipse. Next. Next. Uncheck server, because we're not using the server. And then do finish. It will give you an error. That is okay. First thing you want to do, and this drives me crazy, and I wish, if please post in comments if you know how to fix this, because I have to change it every single time. But you go to settings, appearance, path variables. This will not be right. You'll have to do edit, and then you go to your main directory. This is my main directory where I drag and dropped all the files. It is. I, I'm going to show you. I don't want to confuse you, cause I'm not. This it's this directory. It's that directory. You just change it. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now you go to project structure. Um, I'm going to name mine correctly instead of Eclipse. I'm going to name it that mice, cause that's that's what I'm doing. Um, you go to modules and go to 1.8 or 1.7 whatever you're using this is wrong remove it I'm going to add a new one library Java and you come down to jars versions 1.2 okay now we're going to drag it up to the top there we go um, this is wrong and we're going to go to don't remove it first, add it first. That way, because I'm going to look at this path, you have to go to that path. And so we're going to go to jars, it's right there, jars, library, library, um, Ojang, grams, and see how um, I'm going to go ahead and add it. See, it changed from zero to six. And so we're going to go ahead and rename. You don't have to rename it, I do it just to. To know, and then you're going to remove the bad path. There you go. Okay, now that's done. Now we're going to open up this. Here is your stuff. Okay, now we're not quite done, and I'm going to have to cheat because I don't remember the next step by heart. And I hope, I hope this is it. Oh, it is, thank goodness. Okay. You're going to go to Run, Edit Config, New Application. You're going to select Start. Um, you're going to copy this from another project, but we're going to do point two. Point two. This is wrong. This needs to be Jars, not Eclipse. Um, that's right. This should be... 1.8, there you go, and it should run. Now, I'm crossing my fingers. I've done this video three times, and I've screwed up one step somewhere, and I've had to remake it. So hopefully I don't really have to remake it a fourth time. But the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see it compiling. That's what I'm waiting on. There you go. You now have 1.10.2 source code IntelliJ. Now, you can stop the video here if you know what you're doing. I am going to try to clean up my workspace a little bit. The last time I did this, I screwed up my entire project. So please, 
if you don't want to be confused, you don't want to clean up your workspace, you're good as is, stop the video here. Otherwise, let's press forward. Now, I want to go to project structure. I don't like client. I'm going to change it to mice because that's what I'm doing. That's mice. It's done. I want to go to edit config. I don't like unnamed. I'm going to change it to my project mice. Now, I don't like this, and so I'm going to delete it. And I was screwed up last time. Maybe you don't delete it. Maybe you hide it. How did I do this? I removed it from one of my there. Haha, -ha. market is excluded. There you go. You don't delete it, your market is excluded. There you go. Now my workplace is all tidy up and it is ready for me to drop my source code in, but I'm not going to show you that. And in fact, I'm gonna test this to make sure it still runs. There we go. Thank you for watching another video.